guys this is jason from life changes and today we are going to be looking at blocks and groups and hopefully you guys understood the last video where we saw layers dimensions and how layers work and stuff and so today yeah, we'll be looking at blocks and blocks is nothing but uh, kind of like a stamp if you name it if you remember those hmm, what would you call it? And those seals they have on documents where you have an imprint on you just clear press it on the ink and then press it on the paper basically blocks are kind of the same it's just uh, blocks of stamps which you can use back to back uh, this is in the layer mode uh, last time so let me just change that okay for instance if i'm creating a bunch of stuff so let's see And another circle like this. Uh, if I go to create a box, I can name it as something. And then pick a point. So this point makes a big uh, from where the block should be created. And before, and you can also do the select object to click it as well. Like you can select this object and this object. Press enter. You can create a block and if you see closely here you can actually see a kind of a small preview in this black box here <laughs> and if you just click ok there you go this is now a block now all you have to do is go to insert block and you can see here part one is a block and it will just come out here as well and there you go that's your block you can of course edit a block if you click on it you can see it coming here just double click on it and it will show you just the block and you can like edit whatever you want increase the size maybe just want it a bit smaller here like this just press enter save the changes and okay done and there we go now if you see everything that was associated as a block is now changed now this is the original one we made but that also changed so in order to change that uh, from being a block you need to when you're creating a block you need to make sure you have some settings on it so as you can see in objects you see here that there's a convert to block option and delete option and retain retain keeps it the way it is it doesn't convert to a block if you convert it also to a block it will just associate with that block and if you delete that previous one will just get deleted and your block will just be saved as for here, explode scale uniform annotations. Uh, scale uniformly just means it will scale. When you use the scale option, it scales like evenly and not like the, the circle doesn't become a semicircle or something like that. Or an ellipse the, when you are moving. It doesn't change the you know basic structure of the block. And for explode, explode basically just uh, explodes these two. So right now these two are considered as a single object if you create it into a block. In order to make it separate again, you need to use a command called explode. So let's do this one. So right now, yeah, as you can see, both are together. So in order to change them to one by one, you click on explode, uh, type in explode, e x p l o d e, click on it, and now the circle will be separate and the square will be separate. Not at a time. So yeah, that way you can just separate it. But now it's not a block. So yeah. That way you can do some pretty good changes, I guess. Right. That's basically the block tool. You can use it if you are like to deal with multiple parts and stuff. Like you need to keep copy pasting them instead, you can just use a block. And in case you need to change something in that block, you can just Go to the edit tool and then just edit it. So everything else also changes. This is especially useful if you are using standard parts where you use <clears throat> certain certain nuts and bolts which are like in a standardized diameter and such. In that case, if you need to change the size of that certain block or that nut for everything to I don't know increase the uh, rigidity or the strength of the material you can just change it here and it will uh, change it everywhere so, yeah 
pretty useful tool and now I agree. so that's the block function the next function is group uh, group is nothing but just grouping a bunch of objects together uh, you can basically just create these bunch of uh, stuff here and there Let's just say I'm creating these right, diagrams here. So you want all of these to be in a singular selection. Just select all of them and click on group. And once you click on that, all of them will get selected and all of them are considered as a singular group. This way you can like group certain parts. Like if you are working with multiple parts in a 2D wireframe blueprint project and there's like a certain part which is supposed to be together but the rest are all different you can just use the grouping option to just group all of them together so when you come back to editing or to showing you can separate them and show to them of course layers can also help with that but this way you can group them even in different layers making it even more detailed and descriptive and of course you can like yeah, edit the groups like which groups are considered you can add object remove object you remove object you just have to click on it and it will get removed the center there you go only the circle and that mini rectangle will lower itself all right hopefully this was useful guys uh, uh you guys know what groups are and hopefully this would be enough because right now we are almost done with 2d and these are the basic uh, basic and pretty much most of the tools you would use for 2D drawings. Uh, hopefully this video was helpful and see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Congratulations. You have finished watching all the beginner part of this course. Now take the quiz and earn your certificate. Happy learning.